So good morning guys, you know what's up, you know today video will be different Today I'm going to highlight the grooms, the roots of horse racing at Cayman Spa One of my uncle them say, come in, can shoot a video with him, show you how grooms have to do And you know, grooms do a lot of work um, at morning time and evening time But mostly the hard work starts early in the morning So I'm going to show you guys what a groom have to do I think to stay tuned, like, subscribe, share, don't know, one love all right, guys. So I'm there with someone called friend, my mm -hmm. groom, and things. So I'm tell me what I do. A morning time before you ask them if you come out or what you do before anything. So tell you what I go. Yeah, man. We, like we catch him up in the morning. We you call catch him up. What do you mean you by look, catch him up? You put on the altar on him. Altar? Yeah. You have an example you can show me. Yeah. We have it like over here. So. I have a for the range I can show you. Okay, so you put an alt up on him and then. Yeah. Then we give him, we have some, we have something where we give them like lime juice and lime juice and, and, and thing. We give them a little thing down and show the cleave. Make them feel fresh when we have a swim them so we can go to the pool. Yeah. Some go a track. And then we have a swim them now and get them in the pool and swim them one five, six round and get them back. Look after them, beat them off, shampoo them off and yeah, they ask them to smell nice yeah, and neat. And, and graze them and put copper tacks and things and rub them down, keep them good and level up them stall. Yeah, pick out them stall and yeah, everything. Yeah, and level it up. See, you pick out all of them already, stall already? No, just pick out that one there. Yeah, that's one. Yeah, you can come with that and look good. Let them get them here and them feed. Yes, yeah, so and well fed and kept clean and, yeah. you know? Yeah, this is them stall, I mean, the knee. Let me get to eat. And start pick out and crinkle down. Yeah. Yeah, this is feed my pan. Yeah, so. Look after them, we're, we're, we're rubbing them, clean them up, rub them, muscle them up, whisk them up and put copper tacks and things in my foot. Yeah. Get them start give them water. Okay. Me. Okay. Yeah. So, alright, for the rest days, what I want you guys do? Right. I hear that race days are more empty, you know? Yeah, man, race here you now is a day in that in the morning, you know, when they are race, we catch, we catch them up, give them a look after, because we don't care, they go to track that, that morning. Walk them around in the clam, yeah. look about them style and thing, put them back, give them them, them feeding, give them one pan of feeding, and them here, and them eat, and thing. So, if they go to lay sick, we can them go to lay sick. It's at the time like 10.30 or 10 o'clock and we can't go lazy and we can't go lazy now we we'll come back with them and put over and you know, we have something bleeding paste or thing when we give them a bleed and so we put them good and we we'll take them out shampoo them off put them in a ice ice them foot make them see the ice till ready for go down put so why, why you ice the foot? because sometimes we we'll keep it cool the tendons we'll have to keep okay. cool okay. most of them do them run Sometimes eat to come down them food through them after exercise. Exercise, yeah. So we, we put ice to keep it that cool, the temperature cool for them. Okay. Yeah. Give them a nice shampoo bath and put on them right and thing and bring it out to the track. Then the trainer do the rest. Okay. Yeah. So why, why, why give him one pan of feeding during the race day? Yeah. Instead of two or three, yeah. you normally give him? him they, they keep him stomach because it will every pan in stomach. Oh, so, so everyone you might. Yeah. So we him go run, but we don't give him that full feed like when he go stay for the whole day. Okay. So we give him one pan so that we just digest by the time we're ready for it. For run? Yeah. Okay. Alright then. Yeah. I want to see you do some of the artists them in there, any one of them in there. How you do with them, what you do today and stuff. See the guys, so nice style. No spot in here already. Yeah. Yep. No sparking feed me. Morning, morning. Hey, we'll buy, well, you can't touch him, man. Can't, see can't touch him? Yeah. Oh, and dog and money, dog, buy cheese out in underneath. If I call you on your phone, you have like a bush. Because, hey, cheese, morning. I'm here. I'm here, yeah. Hey, so, my yard, what say? Yeah. Where are they? But they are red ones, they are running on empty. Running them? Running on empty. Running on empty? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I draw red right now. <laughs> so, so, which ass is that? You got a young ass. No, man. I'm Ricky Ricardo this. Ricky Ricardo this. I'm going to tell him I win. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, you say we can grab all of my money? Everything you only go down to the shop, can you shop for so, them? So you must come from now? Just come from pool. Go from pool, you go swim? Yeah. How much you go? I'm go seven. Only seven? Okay, Six. okay. Alright guys, this is Dave. What, what, the name of the horse? Magical Moon. Magical Moon. What's this I put on his face? Alta. Oh, it's Alta. Okay. So you're taking him now? Uh, you just take him out of the stall then? Yeah, so? Take him to the pool. To the pool? Yeah, to go have a, a swim. Okay. Alright guys, so we're going to go around the pool and see what's going on. Turn up, turn up, turn up. Turn up. Turn up. Yeah, it's a beautiful look. Very fast in minute. Parking towards the sunset. And I tell you, we are going up pool right now. And I'm at the thing. Kiss back when we reach on the pool. Yeah, guys, over there. Reach at the pool now. So we are going. No, we're done. We're done. Go up, you bleep, man. Come on, come on, man. You can't cut it out, man. You can't cut it out, dear. Yeah. You can't cut it out. You're good, man. You're good, man. I'm I don't know come on back. Six lap in there? Five. Five. Alright. Yes, right. Yes, right. Good man, good man. What's your next step after you? After you in the swimming at the pool? I'm going to try to show one home. Okay. Tell them to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Say Lord. Like and subscribe. <laughs> You're tired. <laughs> yes, you're, 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 you're shampoo in dung now. I'm gonna scare them. Eh, eh, eh. Watch Papa. Yeah.
Yeah guys, so you know ashes are very delicate, so you have to treat them like a baby. And no matter how you see them powerful and strong, they run very fast, they're very very delicate. So guys, when you done, beat them off, check them back, right? Everybody are complimenting about the ass you have yesterday. Tell us about the ass you have yesterday. Yeah, man, it was a nice little two year old making from Bush. Go through a lot of struggle with that ass. And I tell you, boy, it pay off, it pay off. Pay off. Pay off. Win yesterday. Win yesterday. Feel happy. Feel happy. Boy, happy. You know, the winner's very enclosure. Very happy. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to put up the video right now. You know, the winner's enclosure. Rose Apple out in front from Deadly Nightshade trying to close up Mr. Fett but this Rose Apple is holding off Mr. Fett who now begins to leap forward but it possibly is too late. Rose Apple beats Mr. Fett it seems in a photograph with Deadly Nightshade then California Gold clowning around looks... You know, so you got a lot of struggles with you. At least the PR still in the horse win. Feel good in yourself, so you know, it's alright. You never look out for him for so long, for it. nothing at all. You show your results. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, guys, you know, same GoPro. Where is it? You know, same other van. You just lock off and knock on my car, and I go this to me have my phone and things. So, I have a video right now for the iPhone 12 Pro Max and things. So, I've got some good quality phone the same way. And things over there, the Dave, Magical Moon. And things over there. What are you doing now? Making it look good? Yeah, making it cool. Oh, you enjoy it a little bit? Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Okay, I understand. You enjoy it a bit, you know? Aye, so you can't be in wet, we catch cool. Okay. You have to give him a little time to cool off. So, so after I'm cool now, after I'm cool, you go pick the stall. Yeah, can I mean I hit him up? Yeah. From the range? From the range, John. Get the style going, you know. Okay. Good work, not easy, you know. Grabbing them seat and feel like it's an easy task. It's not an easy task, you know. You have to go through a lot of things. Mm. You understand? Can't watch you drift now. You have to take him to the pool. You have to carry him back, bathe him. You still have to dry him. Carry him back in, look after him, pick your stall. So it's a lot of work, it's not easy. And it's, a, and it's a everyday thing. Every day, seven days a week. Sunday to Sunday. Sunday to Sunday. Yeah, good to get rest. Hear yeah, that guys? Good, good work is not easy. Anything you, you want to take a rest, you lose it. You don't have your good good ass and lose him, just you want to rest. You can't take rest. <laughs> so because you want to rest and you have your good we ass when you rest every week. You and take you all take a day. Rest, boy. You, you come back, him, you lose boy. the ass and somebody else will look out for him. Somebody else will get him. So and you can't come. manage to lose a ass I win the race for you every week. I, pray, I bring in the bread for you, okay. essentially. So, you have to just put out, you know? You have to just put out at the work, you know? Animal can't feed themselves, you know? So, you basically, you guys are the foundation of, our, of horse racing. Yeah. And gooms don't get as much recognition as they should. We are the bottom of the table in everything. And without you, the horse can't feed himself. The horse can't bathe himself. He can't pick him on a stall. Can't do nothing. You're the foundation, the roots of horse racing. Yo, Marsha! Into the range. Come, come.
You're picking a star. Yeah. So you're picking a star. What are you looking for? Yeah. Then we miss. Why if I'm looking the star Stop it. Get some help. Yeah, like so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. Okay. Mm -hmm. Come on. 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 Hey, that guy. You know, yeah, remember, and you're very delicate, you know. That will sick him, kill him. I'm gonna think that we get doctor, a veterinarian, come and check him, make sure I'm alright. That's the one with the bucket over his mouth. He probably do it like that. Yeah man, you have to learn the game, you know? A chance to make Guma go through, you know? This is it, not easy.
two words. It's supposed to have a mask. You did? Yeah, me have. I have to turn the piss bed and I can't smell it. Yeah, but that's not a problem. Dust, but me have a mask, but. Sometimes you have to go hands on and just. Yeah. You know, sometimes when you pressure take you, you remember to put on your mask. Because you have to have all three, four hours to deal with. Yeah, for some feet, you have to have a mask. See there? Right away, you know, the top, the right time. So, the reason I'm staring at the piss bed now is to allow it to bottom to dry. Rush. Rush. Okay. You have to stir it up. Most of the time you have to take it out. 95% of the time you have to take it out. You understand? Okay. Because it's not too bad that you have to get a little scrub. Yeah, make it breeze and dry like. Right. Mix to the dry one. One of the reasons why, one of the reasons why most of all you have to stir the stall. You have insect like party leg. Coming the corner of the stall, yeah. So you have to constantly stir it up to keep them open. And the fight like you bite them and cause, yeah. So, they've not been in the corner, you have to now and kill them. Okay. Okay, properly dry her down. Properly dry her, right? You know what I mean, you know? Yeah, they come out and I mean, they be trying to come and see it in trouble. <laughs> and if you see her, you know, you are cold. Okay. Just like a young baby. Yeah. Make sure your baby is real dry. Guys, tell you no matter how you see them powerful, much horsepower and strong muscle, they're just like a young baby. Delicate. Delicate. You have to pay attention to them like your own child. Basically, you're your father. Alright, Mr. Dave? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Basically, you're your, basically your father because you have to do everything to take care of him. And it's very delicate, just like a baby. This is our medication. What is this? Batrin. Batrin? Yeah, yeah. Batrin is an antibiotic. Antibiotic to keep her clean. Okay. So much I give her? 10. Twenty a day, ten, ten each time. Take some water, guys. See so that, guys. Them, I forget the medication, antibiotic. We make sure we keep the insides clean and to that. <laughs> because any human being take that, we are losing so much muscle on that. I tell them. So, antibiotic. We want to soak. Okay, to go and soak and dissolve. Out. Dissolve. Out. Okay. What is that you're using? You know, I need now. Rubber brush. Let them see it. What it is? See that guys. He take out the dead ear. Okay. I say yes. I love that. <laughs> you rub down your entire body with it. Mm. Okay, I've got it. Repeat that. So you have to dry your foot properly. Okay. 
no, the spur. What is what? Like a fungus, like. Okay. I was just about to ask you what is scurf at first I'm hearing that name. So you, where you put the grease on our hoof? Yeah. Where is the reason why you put the grease on the hoof? It not dry and crystallize. Oh. Keep it moist. So. Yeah? Finishing touch. Yeah. So she get our medication, get our feeding, all the things. See that, guys? It's reaching. I got food, right? Are you winning us this? Yeah. Who is up? 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 So you just have to go be there, uh, yeah, to the bathroom, yeah, nice to show up. Nice to show up, pick our style. Just, yeah, the, same, same, just, same just the same thing. Same Give her a grass feed, you know. The whole thing she just not going to work today because she runs today. She's yeah. exhausted. She's tired. So Dave, Uncle Dave, where that the girl could insight to people wanting to come into horse racing or with insight you could not give to upcoming grooms or grooms in general. We could not tell them. It's hard, you know, but at the game, if you like it, you can come in at it. You know, I mean, I'm forced to man to sell them, say, really, come in at us. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a money game. It's a game that takes a lot of money. It takes a lot of money. You understand? You have to like it to come in at it, you know? Alright, guys, you see the process where our groom have to do. You know, only for work, you know, do the same process. Some of them have three, four hours have to look off. You know, a lot of work on people. Alright? My uncle, so, we'll have the to video him on the stable and range. I'm going to show him out. That. You see what I say? I'm going to tell him, man, I'm going to work on the video. And some of them have, I'm going to tell him, three, four hours, two hours to deal with. And I see him process over and over. All the time you get to look at the rest of the horse running, all after just bathing, him, picking him stall. And, I look at the other local stuff them and then put them back in at the state and then repeat the process tomorrow every day for seven days a week. So, guys, thanks for watching. Now I'm at the team.